Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. Uh, we are continuing our tutorial series and continuing with calendar and now this time around we are going to create some specific uh, calendar related um, columns which we are going to use to default our calendars and now we have to create these because as of now uh, Power BI do not support in, uh, default values using some functions so that's why we need it. So now what we are going to do we are going to create a new column and we are going to call it is today. In this is today what we are going to use we are let's say we'll start with switch because oh, i'm going to create today yesterday and all those so that in case to, true and we are going to say today or we can say date is equal to today we have a function today and now so today is the one which is without date time so we are going to use it so if it is equal to today this is the condition then what is going to be result is the result is going to be today and then what is going to be second function is again we are going to say date and date is equal to let's say today a minus one then it is yesterday and rest of the other places we, I can either take the date and percent this one or we can say format and then we say date and currently we are continuing with mmdd yy format so mm hyphen dd hyphen yyy format or we could have said yesterday and not not date, but we would like to show some dates out here and then let's see does it works out okay fine so yesterday today and rest of them are date like can we go go ahead and sort it on date now let's say if i want to go ahead and say date uh, as a sort column so it has sorted on date so if i go ahead and plot it here let's say this one is today column let's search it we click here so that we get a new visual and then we sort it descending so we got today and yesterday so pretty much uh, sorting is done so today yesterday so we can select today and yesterday in this one now it's not only today and this uh, today and yesterday we might move in this week versus last week so similar kind of calculations we need to know now in case of week basically we have to use the start date in this one in context of the today okay so if today is including into this one so this week or otherwise this is last week and all those so let's try to create this week first of all now is week and this will be same true for quarter because month we can actually take a format and also do it so we again do it switch and then we say okay true and we say okay today is greater than and equal to start of the week and today is greater than and less than and equal to end of the week and our week uh, start and end are non overlapping so we'll get it and this is going to be this is one condition this is going to be this week and rest of the week we can take week years okay Uh, we have we are calling it week year or uh, what is that week year okay let's see what does it give so expression data right today greater than equal to this one ampersand today is less than equal to this one and let's say okay this might not be week week of year week year let's say otherwise other weeks other weeks first of all let's try to call it other weeks then we are going to go and correct it out okay and this week and other week and here actually we should be able to do okay all of them are numbers basically that's why we are getting so uh, week here is 33 which is what we need week here and let's give ampersand on this one this should convert it into a text otherwise we can type cost okay so this is correct and now again we know this need to be sorted on that week here so basically let's see if we are able to sort it on so we go ahead and say uh, we can sort, sort on f5 on or we can sort on the week here let's see okay seems like working now so we have done this now is week similarly is month switch today so I switch to and 
now what are the ways so now the, here we are going to use different reports so we say end of month today because we are using end of month and this needs zero so this is the current month which is zero and we say date also eo month of the date comma zero so these two are set so today's date end of month and this end of month is today then this is this month okay otherwise the other month or similar way you can say today minus one and end of date zero then it is last month because today you are today minus one and then this is again last month okay so you move today to one month back and then you can do last month and then similarly we can here we can take month here and month here and month here is basically text so we should be able to pass it in one go so this month and then we this month is august and then rest of the things and then again go ahead and let's try to sort it on uh, we created month here sort column and just like uh, this one we uh, now year again we can do and quarter again like we can do so same way we can add for quarter you have to again take the similar approach that we have taken for week and for uh, year you have to again you can actually say year equal to year so th those two approaches we can take so continue let's continue quickly create those columns also is quarter we could have called literally is this quarter is qtr again we are going to say switch and true and what we are going to say today is greater than or equal to start of the quarter we have not created start of the quarter so what we are going to do let's simply make it as year one so year is pretty simple year is year of today is equal to year and if it is fi you can say fi for but that would be a bit different but yes fi is equal to the fi of that one so we can actually go ahead and do that so year of date so we can have actually or better in that in that case you have created a start date and end date you can use that actually so so what we are saying this year is equal to year and in this case we are calling it this year and we can call it we have taken year calendar year c by and we have to make it as a text in percent double quote double quotes so it's a lot of this year now and so this year last year and similarly quarter we can create start of the quarter end of the quarter and then we can actually have based on that uh, this quarter versus last quarter but the approach will remain same so uh, thanks for watching this video thank you